everybody. So now we're going to look at how to make parallel and perpendicular lines with a compass and a straight edge. And remember, here's my straight edge. We're not going to use the ruled part because I don't want to be distracted by that. Just the straight edge. And here's my compass. So now we're going to take a look at uh, perpendicular lines to start off with here. So I'm going to draw a line. And I'm going to make a point right here. This is where I'm going to make my, my line perpendicular to the line that I just drew. <coughs> okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my compass, I'm just going to open it up kind of arbitrarily, and I'm going to put my compass, I'm going to put the one end uh, right on that point that I'm interested in, I'm going to make the perpendicular line through there, draw a little arc through there, and I'm going to do the same over here. Okay. Basically, so I've got two arcs that are the same distance away from that center. I mean, that's part of a circle right there, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my compass just a little bit so that it's wider than that, uh, that line segment that I just drew. Now I'm going to take the compass and I'm going to start right here where that uh, first arc hit my line segment. I tell you what, I don't want to run into my title, so I'm going to go down here. And So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an arc down here. Oops, it's sliding just a little bit. I'm going to try that again. Okay, make a little bit of an arc of a circle right there. Then I'm going to come to the other side and I'm going to put my, my compass there. Okay, so starting the same distance away from that point and I'm going to make another arc. It's got the same radius. Where those two, where those two arcs intersect right there, that is going to be on the line perpendicular to this line. Okay. So now what I do is I take my straight edge, actually I'm going to flip it over, and I take, and I'm going to take that point right there and I'm going to connect it to this point right there. And those two lines that I just made are going to be perpendicular to each other. Okay. Now one of the reasons why that works here is because when I made these two arcs here, what I did is I, the point of intersection is going to be a point that's the same distance, okay? So if I do this here, this distance right here from that point to that arc is going to be the same as the distance from this point to that arc. So that point right there is the same distance from both those two endpoints. And there is a rule okay, that says that, that all the points on what we call the perpendicular bisector of a line are going to be the same distance to those two endpoints. And this is a bisector because that point that I put in the middle here, I drew it, I drew these little arcs out there so that this little line segment right here was the same line distance as that one. It's kind of fun. Now, let's take a look at what it would look like to make parallel lines. Okay, so we just made perpendicular lines, let's make parallel lines. So I'm gonna draw a line right here. And I'm gonna draw a line parallel to this one, uh, just above it. So, now, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a little, I'm going to help myself out here. I'm going to draw just a little uh, line segment through that. This is the line that I want to make parallel to, but I'm going to use this, my little transversal here to help me out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick an opening for my compass, I don't know, maybe a little bit bigger. And I'm going to put a point right there. Okay, that's going to give me that distance right there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn and I'm going to open that up to there. Ooh, I should have made that a little bit longer. Okay, so this point is the same distance from my, my starting point as this point is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here, right, whoops, right there, and I'm going to make an arc over here. Oh, it slid. Hold on, I'm going to try that again. Uh, not too much. Make an arc over there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I'm going to put the compass here on that point, and I'm going to make another arc. Now, where those two arcs intersect, right here, is going to be the same distance from here as it is from here. What that does, when I connect these two points right there, is it creates a line that is parallel 
to the one that I started off with. And in fact, it's actually started me a long way towards if I connect these two points right now, I'm going to create a parallelogram. I'm actually going to have two sets of parallel lines here. But that's how you would do it. Make a little arc, make a little arc along another line there. That second line there just helps me out a little bit. I can make it whatever kind of direction I wanted. Um, and then I can, I can make my uh, parallel line uh, through that one. Now, you can also, if you wanted to make a parallel line through a specific point, you could have, instead of drawing that line right there, I could have just picked a point uh, out there and then done the, basically the exact same process and drawn a parallel line through that specific point. Anyway, so that just gives you an idea of how you can draw parallel and perpendicular lines.